all right my dear students today we have a topic inventory valuation and it's a past paper exam question uh, in january 22 uh, in which there is a five mark requirement we need to find the closing inventory total okay so beta there are uh, basically three methods to find the inventory one is first in first out then we have last in first out and finally we have average costing method so in this question we are discussing first in first out so there is an assumption of first in first out that means the inventory that have we have bought first should be the inventory that is going to be sold first okay so if we have bought something uh, first then this should be sold first and the inventory that we have bought later part of the year should be sold next okay so this is only an assumption and for this uh, there are three types of assumptions first in first out last in first out and average cost method so it's not necessary that uh, the physical flow of goods also uh, is first in first out so most of the time we follow first in first out because uh, whenever you go to some shop so the shopkeeper mostly try to sell you the older stock because uh, the older stock is about to expire or going out of fashion so most of the time shopkeepers store owners want to sell the earlier stock first so this means they are also using the first in first out in reality but we are not talking about the reality we are just talking about the accounting consequences of first in first out now let us see beta uh, there is the periodic method although the periodic and perpetual is the same in first in first out because both of the methods would give the same answer but in average cost method periodic and perpetual have different answers the uh, following information is available for the year ended now the year is ending on september 21 so the year must have been started on after september comes october so the year must have been started on october 2020 now but there are three products standard deluxe and super and opening inventory is available for all these three units so uh, for standard unit we had 200 units at the start of the year and these were bought for 10 pounds each okay and for deluxe we had 100 units and these were bought for 12 sterling each and similar is the case for super we also have some opening inventory then we have bought a new product this year first of all we have bought 700 units on 1st january for standard then 300 further units for 11 dollar now as you can see the price is going up from 10 now the latest price is 11 now similar is the case for deluxe and super we have bought new lots in this year issue during the year what does issue means issue means whether we are selling the inventory during the year and we have sold 950 400 and 150 units of these three products respectively uh, now what we need to do beta we need to find the closing inventory now there is a simple formula for calculating closing inventory and what formula is it beta the formula is opening inventory add purchases minus sales is equal to closing inventory now it's very logical that uh, where do we get the closing inventory the, uh, it must be there that at the start of the year we had some of the inventory and in this year or this period we have bought some new inventory and in this period we have sold some of the inventory so the remaining inventory would be what closing inventory so first of all see about uh, the standard product so beta, our standard product how many units we had at the start of the year we had 200 units so the opening inventory would be 200 how many units we have bought this year beta we have bought 700 units on 1st january and on 1st may we have bought further 300 units so 700 plus 300 beta the total units that we have bought was uh, 1000 units opening plus purchase minus sales so have we have we sold some of the units this year yes beta we have sold 950 units this year so what we need to do we need to deduct the 950 units okay so in opening inventory at the start of the year we had 200 units we have bought further units worth 1000 so if we add uh, we have bought uh, 1000 more units so the total units that we had this year was uh, 1200 and out of these 1200 units we have sold 950 of them so how many units we are left with but we are left with 250 units now the question arises sir which is the method the method is first in first out now the assumption is that first of all when we started selling these units 950 units first of all we'll be selling these 200 units because these were the uh, first in okay 
and then we are going to sell these 700 units and in the last we are going to sell the units of this so if we have started selling from the top so this mean beta the closing inventory we would had from the bottom okay so you just remember one thing in first in first out will be started selling from the top and the closing inventory must we have from the bottom so how many beta units of closing inventory we had we had 250 units so the closing inventory should be from the latest lot and the latest lot that we have is for 300 units and out of this 250 units would be left over and the 250 units cost the business how much the cost the business 11 uh, 11 uh, sterling each now what is this a uh, net realizable value net realizable value there is a formula for net realizable value and the formula is selling price okay the price that we will fetch if we sell the units right now minus cost to sell any cost that is necessary to make the sale happen would be deducted from the selling price in order to find this nrv so we aren't uh, supposed to find nrv in this question we are already being provided with the nrv so what we are going to do beta we are going to take the lower value from the cost and nrv why because there is an inventory valuation rule and there is a accounting standard for inventory uh, the uh, name of the standard is is2 basically the number of the standard is is2 uh, and that governs with inventory and is2 states that whenever we are going to inventory uh, value inventory at the end of the year we should take lower of the two values and the first value would be the original cost that we have bought the asset and second would be the nrv now as we can see in this question we have bought these uh, 250 units uh, 300 units out of that 250 are remaining we have bought it for 11 pounds each but a uh, net realizable value is still 12 dollar so this means if we still sell this inventory we can easily earn what price 12 dollar so what we are going to do beta we need to select the lower value from both of these two and the lower value would obviously be 11 okay this is also an application of prudence concept and the prudence concept beta says that profit and assets shall never be overstated okay so if we are going to take the higher value this means that the profit we are going to earn in the future we are recording the profit immediately which is against the prudence concept and in that case our inventory would also be overstated so therefore we are going to take the lower value from the cost price and the net realizable value so beta we are left with 250 unit and 11 is the cost that is lower so the total value for standard unit is how much 2750 now let's move to the deluxe product so first of all beta the formula would remain the same opening value how many units we had at the start of the year beta we have 100 units and how many units further units we have bought this year 400 plus 100 this means 500 so at the start of the year we have 100 units and we have bought 500 further so now the total is 600 units and how many units we have issued or sold during the year we have sold 400 so out of these 600 beta we have already sold 400 so the closing inventory units are only left how much 200 units are left now the uh, question uh, is that says the 200 units would be left from the top or the bottom so beta in first in first out we start selling from the top so therefore the closing inventory must always be from the bottom okay so the closing inventory would be the lowest uh, latest inventory okay now uh, how many units we have at the end of the year beta we have 200 units so 100 units would be taken from this inventory that is latest inventory and further 100 units beta can be taken from the inventory on top of that that is uh, we are going to work on the descending order okay from bottom to top 100 units uh, worth 13 dollar and further 100 units worth 12 dollar so basically we have two inventories uh, 100 units uh, have different costs and another 100 units cost us differently now we also have a net realizable value and that is 14 dollar now what we need to do beta we need to compare this 12 and 13 with the 14 dollar and we need to see whichever is the lower value uh, either 12 or 13 is lower or either 14 is lower so obviously sir 12 and 13 is lower so we are going to value these on the cost again 12 and 13 so sir for for example we had this uh, nrv value and this was maybe 11 or 10.5 okay so if this is 11 maybe so what we are going to do beta we need to value these 200 units on 11 now and not the 
12 or 13 okay so we are going to value it on the lower value from the cost or nrv so what we are going to do we need to uh, value it on the lower value that is lower is 12 and 13 so if the lower value was maybe 10 if nrv is 10 then instead of valuing it on 12 and 13 we can value it on 10 dollar okay lower value so 100 units uh, have been bought for 13 and the remaining 100 have been bought for 12 so we need to multiply both of these and the add both of these okay 1300 plus 1200 this becomes 2500 now we have the uh, last inventory that is super so beta opening inventory is how much 50 units and we have bought further units worth how much not worth we have bought further 200 units so 50 plus 200 this becomes total 250 and out of 250 we have sold 150 so this means only 100 units are left at the end of the year now the question arises sir what would be the value that needs to be placed on these 100 units beta so these uh, again first in first out means we are assuming that when we sold 150 so the order should be first of all we would sell these 50 units and then we would sell 100 units from these okay so the closing inventory would be left from the bottom and the latest inventory that we do have is 20 dollar each okay so 20 pound was the cost and nrv is now 15 dollar now why is nrv lower here beta uh, maybe the inventory is obsolete or damaged or out of fashion or due to some uh, other way the inventory value has gone down okay since when we have bought those inventory okay we have bought it for 20 but the realizable value uh, only 15 pound can be earned by selling this inventory so what we are going to do we, we need to value it at the lower value and the lower value is now 15 so we need to uh, apply 15 dollar 15 pound on the 100 units and this would become 1500 so what we need to do better we need to add up all of these okay so the standard is 2750 uh, sterling and deluxe is 2500 and super is 1500 so total inventory at the end of the year is how much better it is 6750 so uh, normally uh, the examiner asks for closing and entry and it can also ask for cost of sale or gross profit okay or, and for that reason we need to make an income statement uh, or uh, also known as trading account so the trading account is only till gross profit we are going to start with the sales and as you can see we aren't being provided with the selling price okay if we are being provided with the selling price of all of these three units we need to uh, multiply it with the selling price okay the units that we have sold multiplied by the selling price we, we would get easily sales revenue then we need opening inventory now as you can see opening inventory is given for all of these three so if we are making separate uh, trading account for all three units 200 into 10 opening inventory would be 2000 for standard then for deluxe it would be 1200 and for super it would be 1000 this would be opening inventory then purchase what we need to do we need to just multiply 700 into 10 7000 plus 300 into 11 3300 and need to add up both of these then this would be the purchase for standard similar would be the purchase for deluxe similar way we can find this and opening at purchase and closing inventory beta we have already found out opening at purchase less closing would be cost of sale and if we deduct cost of sale from the revenue we can easily get gross profit and this is the way beta we calculate uh, closing inventory using first in first out